At almost 100, he's the oldest living star. The golden age of showbiz is considered from the 1910s to the 1960s. At almost 100, some of the popular performers of those times are still alive. You may not hear about them that much, but their performances delivered during those years and later continue to mesmerize people. Check the performers who used to rule the entertainment industry during their heydays. William Daniels, 94 years. The present generation may not have heard his name, but his character, Mr. Feeney, was quite popular in the Boy Meets World, the popular sitcom of the 90s. He recently appeared in Super Intelligence, an HBO Max film that came out in 2020 where he appeared as Kit. He also played his role of Mr. Feeney in Girl Meets World, a spin-off show of Disney based on the earlier Boy Meets World. Sophia Loren, 86 years. She was one of the top names during Hollywood's golden age. The Italian beauty delivered some memorable performances in films like Two Women, Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow, and others. She appeared in short film based on the human voice play and also appeared in The Life Ahead, an Italian film made in 2020. Anthony Hopkins, 83 years. He played an iconic role as Hannibal Lecter in the movie The Silence of the Lambs in 1991. In 2017, he had appeared in Thor Ragnarok. He appeared in Elise, where he played the role of Dr. Philip Lewis. Bob Barker, 97 years. He's been a household name for his hosting of The Price is Right between 1972 and 2007. He was also the host of Truth or Consequences that appeared between 1956 and 1974. An interesting bit about Barker is that he had given his voice for Bob Barnacle character in one episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. Julie Andrews, 85 years. She appeared in so many movies that it's difficult to keep a record of them all. Some of her iconic roles can be seen in the movies The Sound of Music, Mary Poppins, and others. In 2018, she starred as Carathon in Aquaman. She gave her voice for Marlene in Minions, The Rise of Gru. She's not slowing down, and her fans love that. Dick Van Dyke, 95 years. He sported the hats of actor, singer, comedian, dancer, and writer, proving his versatile talent. His journey in the show business started after appearances on Broadway and radio shows. He played the role of Rob Petrie in the show named after him, The Dick Van Dyke Show. In recent episodes of the Kidding TV series, he gave his voice for Hopscotch the Sasquatch. Mel Brooks, 95 years. His entertainment career spans over seven decades and includes some memorable appearances across many movies. He's won several awards, including Oscar, Grammy, Emmy, and Tony Awards. Recently, he gave his voice for the role of Vlad, Dracula's father, in Hotel Transylvania. Tony Bennett, 94 years. His singing voice is recognized by people across many generations. Best of all, he's still capable of delivering strong singing performance. In 2014, he, in partnership with Lady Gaga, released Cheek to Cheek. John Voight, 82 years. Father of Angelina Jolie, John Voight never left the acting scene. Since 2003, he's played Mickey in the series Ray Donovan and appeared in the 2021 movie Roe vs. Wade. Tommy Lee Jones, 74 years. He's played many memorable roles, including the iconic ones in Batman Forever, Men in Black, and The Fugitive. He received several prominent awards for his role in The Fugitive. Recently, he appeared in The Comeback Trail, playing the role of Duke Montana, and in Wander, where he played the role of Jimmy Cleats. Billy D. Williams, 84 years. Star Wars fans are going to recognize him immediately. The man who played Lando Calrissian, Billy D. Williams, has appeared in many films over the years. He's best known for playing the role of Lando in 2019 movie Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Marla Gibbs, 90 years. The Jeffersons sitcom series gave her lots of fame. The TV show was broadcast between 1975 and 1985. She's won so many important awards during her acting career. Recently, she appeared in films Love Jacked and Please Stand By. 
John Aston, 91 years. An easily recognizable face, John Aston, with his mustachioed appearance, is well known for playing the role of Gomez Adams in The Adams Family. Before starting his performing career, he was at Johns Hopkins University studying math. In 2017, he appeared in Justice League Action, where he played the role of Uncle Dudley. Richard Chamberlain, 87 years. He became a big international name after he appeared in The Thornbirds, the miniseries, where he played the role of Ralph de Bracassart. The winner of three Golden Globe Awards, his career continues to flourish. In 2019, he starred in Twin Peaks, and in 2020, he appeared in Finding Julia. Tippi Hedren, 91 years. She was a model before Alfred Hitchcock discovered her and cast her in the 1963 film The Birds. She's played many memorable roles in over 80 films and TV shows. Her recent appearance was in Cougar Town, the 2013 TV show. In 2017, she appeared in the film The Ghost and the Whale. Clue Gulliger, 92 years. He gained fame after starring in The Virginian. He did not appear in big roles after that and is retired from Hollywood. In his early 90s now, he last appeared in the 1985 movie The Return of the Living Dead. He's been a regular guest on many shows including Murder, She Wrote, North and South, Walker, MacGyver, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. Kim Novak, 88 years. She was going to be the next star like Rita Hayworth for Columbia Pictures. She appeared in several prominent movies and is best known for playing the role of Madeline Elster slash Judy Barton in the film Vertigo, an Alfred Hitchcock creation that came out in 1958. Now no longer active in the acting field, but she continues to be associated with the creative fields as a poet, photographer, and visual artist. George Hamilton, 81 years. His acting career spans over 120 movies. Some prominent names include Love at First Bite and Love Possessed. In 2019, he appeared in Grace and Frankie, the TV show, where he played Jack. In American Housewife, he essayed the role of Spencer Blitz. Eva Marie Saint, 97 years. Her memorable roles can be seen in Aaliyah Kazan's movie On the Waterfront and North by Northwest, a movie by Alfred Hitchcock. She's one of the few surviving stars from Hollywood's Golden Age era. She remained away from acting for over a decade but came to play the mother of Tom Hanks in Nothing in Common in 1986. She's given her voice in The Legend of Korra, a Nickelodeon show. Anne Margaret, 80 years. The Swedish-American actress has been also active in singing and dancing fields, earning her the nickname of the Female Elvis. She's appeared in Viva Las Vegas, Bye Bye Birdie, and many Elvis covers, including Heartbreak Hotel. Her TV appearances can be seen in Happy and Ray Donovan. Chubby Checker, 79 years. He popularized the twist dance style as a singer and dancer in rock and roll appearances. His singles have been released throughout the 2000s. In 2015, he produced the show Rock and Roll to the Rescue that helped rescue animals. Bob Newhart, 91 years. The stand-up comedian is best known for giving his deadpan deliveries. He played the role of Robert Hartley in the TV show The Bob Newhart Show and has been seen in Catch-22 and Elf. His voice could be heard in The Rescuers. In The Big Bang Theory, he made six guest appearances and has been seen in the recent TV shows Filthy Rich and Young Sheldon. Paul Michael Glazer, 78 years. He's best known for his appearance in the Starsky and Hutch TV series and the 1971 movie Fiddler on the Roof. In Grace and Frankie TV show, he played the role of Leo in Lego The Adventures of Clutch Powers. His voice gave Keld Playwell. Carol Cook, 97 years. She's known for her works in musical theaters, films, and TV shows. A protege of Lucille Ball, actress in 1959, she starred in many Broadway musicals like Hello, Dolly! and 42nd Street. She's not appeared on theater since 2005. She played the role of Erica Erickson in the 2018 movie Waiting in the Wings, Still Waiting. Her TV show appearance was as Pearl Goodfish in Break a Hip. Norman Lear, 98 years. He has several famous works to his name as producer and writer. 
Some of those names include Sanford and Son, One Day at a Time, and All in the Family. He was the executive producer when One Day at a Time rebooted. Since May 2017, he's been hosting a podcast named All the Above with Norman Lear. Larry Storch, 98 years. Facing the hard times during the Great Depression, he would rather earn $12 every week playing as a stand-up comedian than go to high school. That experience worked well for him as he appeared in F Troop portraying Corporal Randolph Agarn. He appeared in many other movies and TV shows. He's maintained his social media presence and travels frequently to greet his fans across the country. Harry Belafonte, 94 years. The famous Jamaican-American pop star has been quite successful in American show business. Even if you haven't heard his name, you'll likely know him from the Banana Boat song. He popularized Calypso music style and played many acting roles. In recent times, he's been working as a political activist and has many documentaries to his name. In 2018 movie Black Klansman, he played the role of Jerome Turner. Nancy Sinatra, 81 years. Frank Sinatra's daughter, Nancy Sinatra, was well known in her own standing, including for the famous sound, These Boots Are Made for Walking. She leads a retired, peaceful life now after leading an incredible career. Max Baer Jr., 83 years. His best role appeared in Beverly Hillbillies. His net worth was more than $65 million in 2021. He led a successful career not only as an actor but also as a producer and screenwriter. John James, 65 years. Those who have watched the Dynasty series will remember him as he played there, Jeff Colby. Today he works only in a select few projects. He appeared in some movies released in the 2010s and played a role in Hallmark's 2018 TV movie, Christmas Camp. He was the star producer of the 2020 sci-fi movie, Accelerator. Chris Christofferson, 85 years. He retired in 2010, even though he continued to receive roles for many small projects. According to his manager, it was the recent pandemic that led to his decision to retire, which was not announced, but was the organic progression and end of his acting career. Marsha Hunt, 103 years. She maintained a low profile and in the early 1950s faced McCarthy-era blacklisting. Otherwise, she would have gone to achieve more. Her war-era works can be seen in many war and comedy dramas produced by MGM. She signed with the company in 1939. Her roles included as a sister in Pride and Prejudice. She semi-retired in the early 1960s from the movies but maintained her appearance on stage and TV shows. She remained active in the civil rights causes and humanitarian efforts for the Red Cross, the March of Dimes, and UNICEF. Nehemiah Persov 102 years. It was Charles Lawton who discovered him and cast in his 1947 production Galileo. The film debut of Persoff was a year later without any credit in the 1948 movie The Naked City. He was known for playing ethnic villainy, mainly authoritative Eastern Europeans. He played the role of Joseph Stalin in the movie The Harder They Fall. In Alfred Hitchcock's movie The Wrong Man, he played the role of Gene Conforti. Over the years, he made several TV appearances in Gunsmoke, The Twilight Zone, and Law and & Order. Jack Rader, 100 years. He is the oldest living star and best known for movies like Braddock, Missing in Action 3, and The Blob that released in 1988. His Outbreak released in 1995. These movies made his face familiar, but he's been off the radar in show business since then.